If you are an offshore person working at sea, then this video might just save your life. So watch till the end, take notes if you want and share this with your offshore friends. In this video, I will share some tips and guidelines which will be helpful in surviving at sea. Number one, you must know swimming. No, I am not asking you to swim at sea. But knowing swimming takes the fear of water out of you. We will come back to this point later in the video. Do a offshore safety training like BOSET or OPITO. This will be mainly a classroom and some practical. Listen carefully to your instructors. Find out all you can about your barge or vessel before going on board. Learn the offshore language. This is very important. Read some books, talk to your seniors, but you must learn each and every offshore language. After you go on board a vessel, attend the safety briefing. Ask the safety officer in case of any doubt. Ask and find out your emergency master station in case of any emergency or abandoned ship. Find out your assigned life raft number or lifeboat number. Ask your safety officer. Attend all safety drills on board. If safety drills are not held, please ask the safety officer. Raise a hazard observation and forward it to your office. Always carry a waterproof bright flashlight, a good whistle and a waist pouch. You can also carry your emergency contact numbers in a plastic ziplock bag. We will come back to this point again later in the video. Inspect the life jacket that is kept in your cabin. Never take out your life jacket from your cabin until unless it is an emergency. Wear your life jacket, tie up all loose ends, see that it fits properly and place it in the same place. Count and find out how many steps it takes from your cabin to your nearest exit to the main deck. Familiarize yourself with the layout of the alleyway that leads to the exit. There will be electrical wires and pipelines running overhead or along the alleyway. Run your hand along the pipeline or the electricals overhead. Do it every time, every day as you walk through the alleyway to your workplace and back to your cabin. This will build a muscle memory which will help you finding your way in extreme dark and in smoky condition. Practice your way to your master station and emergency station. Again, build a muscle memory so in case of emergency you can be at your emergency station without a problem. Find out the place where deck, work vest and life jackets are stored. There is supposed to be 200% life jackets on board a vessel. Familiarize yourself with the barge or vessel's deck and you must know which place is safe in case of emergency to exit the vessel or the barge. Make friends. Making friends offshore can last a lifetime. Lastly, Keep your ears and eyes open. Always listen to the conversation that are being held over the radio. See what's going on and familiarize yourself with your surroundings. Now at this point you should be ready in case of any emergency on board a vessel. Next I will be discussing about abandoned ship and what you should be doing to make you safe. Please remember, abandoned ship is extremely rare and until and unless it has been confirmed by the highest authority on board the vessel, you must stay on board the vessel. Vessels are normally built to be very sturdy. It can take in water but it will also stay afloat for a very long time. So when you hear the call for abandoned ship, please do the following. Wear your life jacket and make sure everything is fastened properly and see that your whistle is working good. Take your ID cards and emergency contacts number in your waterproof ziplock bag and put it in your waist pouch. 
Take 500 ml of water bottle, make sure the cap is tight and again put it in your waist pouch. Take your waterproof flashlight and hang it with a carabiner on your life jacket. Make sure it is secure. It is always advisable to wear extra layer of clothing, two pairs of socks and a good pair of cotton gloves that will preserve your body heat. Make your way to the master station quickly and wait for the orders. Pair up with couple of friends and always try to stay together. In case you are not on the life raft for whatever is the reason, tie your friends together and always stay together when you exit into the water. A group of survivors are easily spotted by the rescuer than a lone survivor. If you have to jump in the water, try exit the vessel from the lee side. Float on your back and back swim for a few minutes just to get away from the sinking vessel. Once you are 40 to 50 meters away from the vessel, blow your whistle to attract your friends. Let them come together, tie up together and huddle up together. Do not try to swim. Your life jacket is designed to keep your head afloat and above water. Lay still and float on your back. The biggest threat in abandoned ship is exposure to the elements. It can cause hypothermia that is when body loses the heat and its core temperature. Swimming will cause body to lose heat very rapidly. Extra layer of clothes, socks and gloves will keep your body heat together. Remember, it is our extremities, that is our toes, our fingers, our nose, our ears that loses heat first. So when in water, keep moving your fingers and toes. Your bright orange life jacket is visible from miles away in daylight. And if you are in a group, you will be very easy to spot. Chances are that your life jacket light will not work. So in the night time, use your bright flashlight for signaling. Try not to talk but listen to your surroundings for whistles or a vessel sound. The key is to conserve your energy. Try to stay awake and conscious. Do not fall asleep. Keep a lookout towards horizon. Remember, you have 500 ml of water bottle. Do not drink for first 24 hours. If you are really thirsty, take a small sip and put the bottle away. These are 30 small steps that will save your life one day at sea. But before I end this video, there are two additional points which I want you to remember always. God is too busy to come for your rescue, so do not wait for him. You and you only can save your life, so please remember the 30 points that I told you before. Do not try to be a hero. There is no hero in real life. You are either alive or you are dead. Keep your heroism for some other day. Your priority is to stay alive. If you are alive, then you will be a hero to your family and to your friends. Offshore is a very rewarding place to work. Enjoy the adventure and be safe. I wish you well.